In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry and the polarity for CH3Cn. This is acetonitrile. So first, let's look at the molecular geometry. And with this compound, it's written CH3Cn, helps us draw the Lewis structure. So for molecular geometry, we have to figure out which carbon we're talking about. Let's start with this carbon right here. So we could use this table here and look at steric number. This carbon here, it's bonded to the nitrogen and then it's bonded to this methyl group, CH3 here. So it's bonded to two things. There are no lone pairs. All the electrons are in chemical bonds, so zero lone pairs. For this carbon right here, it's linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees. If you use the AXE notation, A, that would be the carbon, this carbon right here, X, that would be the number of things attached. We said there's one, two, and then E, the number of lone pairs. There aren't any, so we just call it zero. So if you looked up AX2, you'd find again that you'd have a linear molecular geometry. Let's look at the other carbon. So for this carbon right here, we can again use the table. We have one, two, three, you can't this whole thing here is four. So we have four things, all these electrons, they're in chemical bonds. So we have zero lone pairs. That would be tetrahedral and the bond angles would be 109.5 degrees or just about that. If we use the AXE notation, A is the carbon we're talking about right here, X, the number of things bonded to it, one, two, three, four, E, number of lone pairs, we said there aren't any. If you look up AX4, you'll find that it's tetrahedral. The molecular geometry for CH3Cn is tetrahedral. Let's take a look at the polarity here for CH3Cn. So here we have our molecule, the blue, that's the nitrogen, the gray, those are the carbons, and the whites are the hydrogens. So we want to see, is this a polar molecule? We know that nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon. So we would expect, because it's more electronegative, and the difference is greater than 0 0.5, if we look it up, this will be a polar molecule. But let's look at the surface of the molecule to see what that looks like. So here the red is more negative. That makes sense. Nitrogen is more electronegative and the blue is more positive. So we have this negative side here and then we have the positive side. Because of that, it's a polar molecule. We have two poles. This is polar. And we would expect that this would interact with other polar molecules. So to recap, we looked at the molecular geometry and we had to do that for each of these carbons here. We found that this carbon had a linear molecular geometry, and this carbon right here, tetrahedral. And then we looked at the polarity and found that CH3Cn, acetonitrile, is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.